In this video, we will explore some geological constraints that we need to define before we can compute a structural geologic model with GEMPI. In the previous video, we created a model instance and provided input data in the form of surface points and orientations. To recap, here's a 2D cross-section illustrating this input data. We have information for three structural elements, creatively named Rock 1, Rock 2 and Rock 3, representing three geological rock units. We can examine these structural elements further by calling the structural frame. The structural frame in GEMPI defines the relationship between structural elements. There are several factors to consider here, the most important being the ordering of these structural elements. First, we can group structural elements into structural groups. All elements within a structural group are considered similar in shape, such as concordant geological layers. In the algorithm, they are interpolated with a single implicit scalar field that accounts for all data from all structural elements within the group. The final model combines multiple scalar fields from different structural groups using masking operations. Each structural group has an attribute called bottom relationship that defines how it will interact with other groups. The default we will use for this model is erode, meaning that the bottom surface of a younger group will have an erosional contact to older groups, basically cutting them off. We will discuss other options for bottom relationships in future videos. Let's dive into our example. By examining our input data, it seems likely that Rock 1 and Rock 2 are concordantly stacked rock units with parallel or semi-parallel boundaries. Therefore, we group them into a structural group called Strat Series 1. In contrast, Rock 3 appears to erode the underlying structural elements, creating an unconformity. Consequently, we assign it to its own structural group named Strat Series 2. Regarding relative age, we define Rock 1 as the oldest and Rock 3 as the youngest, as indicated by the depth relation in the input data. This reflects in the order of the groups and also elements. Younger elements and groups are named before older ones. We end up with defined structural relationships of the elements within a structural frame. You can see our youngest unit, Rock 3, at the top in its own structural group, while the older units, Rock 1 and Rock 2, are grouped together below in a structural group. With this setup, we are ready to compute a solution for our model in the next video and explore some interpolation options in greater detail. And again, we hope you found this tutorial helpful. If so, leave a like on this video or maybe even stop by GitHub and grant Jampai a star rating. Are there any topics you would like us to cover? Make sure to leave a comment. By subscribing, you make sure to miss no informative Jampai videos in the future. See you in the next video.